So we're hoping that this film will encourage other employers um, when they see the benefits that employers uh, are receiving, you know, from being a living wage employer, but also um, the benefits to the, the economy, benefits to the individuals, you know, and to their employees, you know, so that, that everybody, everybody wins. One of the main things that we recognise about people in training, and it's specifically apprenticeships, is there is a, there's a lower wage bracket. Um, I think it's four pound eighty is that what you're allowed to be able to pay people. Now, we think just because somebody's learning something new doesn't mean that they should really be earning half the wage that everybody else does. So to us, um, it's the opportunity to provide access to that education, but at the same time to be able to pay them the real living wage. And um, we hope that that brings other businesses to do the same thing and we're leading by some sort of example. AES Solar is a living wage employer and we have been since 2017. And the reason we decided to become a living wage employer is because it fits with our vision and values as a company. As an SME headquartered in Murray and working in renewable energy, the sun is a shared energy that belongs to nobody. Um, we felt as though we should practice as we preach and um, share success and reward throughout the company and the living wage is an excellent way to demonstrate that we do that. So it's important, I feel, to be paid the living wage. Um, for myself, joining straight from school, I went on to a modern apprenticeship and since I've joined a graduate apprenticeship scheme uh, with the Robert Gordon University in Aberdeen. Um, I think obviously being a full-time student as well as working full-time, it's important that you are paid the living wage, makes you feel sort of valued um, for the work that you do and you're there, therefore rewarded with getting paid that um, the living wage. Um, I feel the respect as well that you have from the company paying you the living wage also reflects in the respect I have from my colleagues as well as management. As a large local employer, I'm pleased to say that the Council has strongly supported the principle of the living wage and we've been paying our direct employees the wage since 2012. We're currently working on accreditation uh, for the living wage standard. Uh, unfortunately, like many organisations and businesses, we've been affected by the pandemic and that's been what we've had to concentrate our resources on. However, I'm pleased to say that working with the Poverty Alliance, we hope to resume work uh, and get our accreditation by March 2022. At SPAY, we believe our staff are our most important assets and we think it's incredibly important to pay everyone, even our interns and those on placements, their real living wage to show how much we value their time, their effort and their commitment to our company. One of the benefits of being a, a living wage employer, I would say, is, is the fact that you're, you become part of a kind of an online community, even if it's just the website that, that there is where you're listed, um, you can look at that and see how that is growing um, continually. And it's a good feeling to know that, it, that you're part of a movement towards just a better, uh, a fairer society, really. The reason Bednox is a living wage employer is because uh, they just wanted to be able to pay the staff the way that they should be and they wanted better for their staff and I think it's just a case of that they wanted to be able to pay us better for the work that we do. So at Elk and Bid, we're a real living wage employer. We don't, we're not accredited, but it's something we're looking forward to becoming. And we're also gonna look and start promoting the importance of the real living wage to the businesses in Elgin. So that there's just an extra bit of support and appreciation for their staff. Gordon and McPhail are a living wage employer because we feel that um, it really matters to our company values and our family values that we stand for treating our employees fairly. And for us, that means providing a good working environment, um, constantly working to improve what we offer um, our colleagues when they join us. But none of that would really work if we couldn't be certain that we were paying them a fair living wage at the same time. So for us, the Scottish living wage is really the foundation for making sure that we're treating our employees fairly and well. The benefits for Money College being a real living employer is that we can actually influence. So for example, um, if you take when we have employ um, other businesses coming to work for us, 
um, part of our process is that we ask those businesses if they too are a living wage employer um, and that actually scores additional points when it comes to um, when we're looking at um, getting works done in the college. Um, it is a really important thing um, for, for our employees um, and we want to encourage other areas within Murray and out with to actually benefit from that as well and allow their employees to benefit. So it's important for us to be a living wage employer because as a charity mitigating poverty in Murray, we want to be at the forefront of leading change for people who are not receiving a living wage. In particular, young people. You know, we employ three young people in our organisation who are in their first roles and they're getting a living wage in their first ever job and having had a child who was working well below the living wage in his first apprenticeship, I think it shows us as, a, as an organisation that is forward looking and looking to people to get paid fair wage for the job that they're doing and not on age and minimum wage. As an apprentice for Revolution for Good um, and also as a new driver, um, having that extra boost of income means I can have my own car, I can get about um, and do the things that I'm wanting to do and not have to be constantly worrying, do I have enough for this week, do I have enough for next week, will I have to keep saving and not be able to enjoy myself at all. Um, it's important to me to get paid the living wage um, as an apprentice because in a normal wage I'd be getting paid four pounds um, instead of the living wage and I can manage to pay bills and be able to drive the long distance to work. To me getting paid a real wage compared to other employers it's quite important because it means I feel more supported by my current employer. To me it feels like I'm more supported going forward and that they want to see me succeed. Getting a higher wage also means that I've got more capabilities to do things that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to accomplish previously. I think the benefit to our employees um, for Gordon McPhail being a, a living wage employer is that certainty and transparency. When you apply for a job at Gordon McPhail, you know that the, the living wage will be the minimum standard that we offer and we make it very clear to people um, throughout their, their time at Gordon McPhail what they can do to further enhance that. But I think it's important that we have a standard and that we're very transparent about that and we, we stick to it. And, and I think our colleagues appreciate that transparency. We value them. You know, we value our staff and it is important, you know, um, in an organisation like a college, you know, we have staff on, on many different salary skills um, and we want everyone to know that they're valued. Um, so to have a living wage right from the outset, I think is a really important thing to do for all of our staff because everyone then knows that they are, um, they are valued. I think Badenoch benefits from paying a living wages because it's, it increases productivity from us. I know for a fact I was happier to come here. Not that I wasn't happy in the first place, but it definitely increased productivity. People call, come into work more often. There's no more absentees. It's a happier place to work. I think the employees benefit because they're not as worrying as much. Uh, on a month-to-month -month basis. Um, I know personally, for me, that was the key reason. I do, yes, I do get paid um, a real living wage. It's, I mean, obviously it's over the minimum wage, so it actually allows me to not only pay my bills, but to have some kind of semblance of a life. Um, if any kind of little, you know, financial things crop up, like if the dishwasher goes or anything like that, it allows me the freedom to know that yes, I could probably pay that as well as meet my bills financially instead of having to go into debt. The real living wage is £9.50 an hour and the reason I became self-employed is because I couldn't get a job that would pay me a living wage. I had three young children and uh, needed to earn enough to support them. Um, and I went into uh, the job that I do, I'm a record, uh, trauma recovery specialist because I myself um, had trauma in my childhood which meant I had mental health issues, I didn't finish school, I didn't do college, I didn't do any of the things that would mean that I could have a better job and so um, once I had my family and I needed to support them um, by becoming a single parent I then went into something that I knew that I could do which was support other people with trauma and help them to overcome it and I pay myself 
definitely a living wage if not more and I think that everyone should be able to get a living wage because that's what's fair. I would encourage all employers in Murray to consider becoming a real living wage employer because by paying people a real living wage, we can help lift people out of poverty, which is more important than ever as we come out of the pandemic, given the shock to our local economy and to many people's income that has arisen from that. But it's also good for employers as well because it helps with recruitment and retention. So it's a win-win, and that's why I'm really pleased to support our campaign and movement in Murray to generate more interest in employers signing up to becoming a real living wage employer. At SPA we think it's incredibly important to fly the flag for becoming a real living wage employer. We would encourage all employers across Murray to sign up for the accreditation and increase the standard of living for all employees across the region. The living wage accredited badge gives us a visible sign out with the company that we are doing things in a certain way and that we are doing what is right, we feel right and is right by employees. Um, as an SME, we feel that if we can do it, then anybody can do it. For businesses that are meeting the standard but are not yet accredited, I would say it, it, it's a simple process to get accredited. It's a form of marketing. When you put your details on the website, you can put your logo on, your contact details, and who knows, somebody might be looking through the list and needing a business of your type and think, well, yeah, that tips the balance, I'm going to go for them. I think it's important to be accredited because I think you have to stand by your values publicly um, and it, it, like I say it gives that certainty and that commitment for employers that are paying the living wage but haven't been accredited I think they're missing a trick I think it's it's helpful to us to be able to be public about that commitment it's helpful to me as as the the person who leads our recruiting and, and hiring but I also think it gives that certainty to employees. Uh, so I think if, if a company doesn't make that commitment, there's always that, that concern that, that it could be taken away. Whereas if you commit to the living wage and you sign up to it, then it just gives that confidence and that, that safety net that, that you've made that very public commitment. I would, I would plead to employers in the area that aren't already signed up as national living wage employers to recognise the, the needs of their employees and to do more to try and support them in their roles um, and provide them a better lifestyle. If I was to think about the benefits of Murray becoming a real living wage place, um, I would say let's see how many big employers we can get signed up to make that happen. College is already there, we're there. We've had a commitment, I believe, from the council to get us there very soon. Um, so if there are any other large employers in Murray, this is the time to sign up and to make a difference. We can make a difference to the economy. We can make a difference to the people who live here. We talk all the time about inward attraction. You know, we also talk about talent moving from the area. This is an opportunity for us to put Murray on the map and to be the sort of place that people want to come and live and stay. So please, sign up.